So this woman, let's call her Mama. Now Mama has a two-year-old daughter who we'll just call Baby. And one day, Mama leaves Baby at the daycare while she's at work. A few hours later, she gets a phone call from the owner of the daycare. This guy, Estrada. Now Estrada says that they discovered that Baby may have an injury in her private area. So Mama goes to the daycare and she picks Baby up and she is understandably pissed off. And she believes that some unspeakable, inappropriate act caused this injury to Baby's private area. She then reports this to the police and takes Baby to the hospital. At the hospital, they check out Baby and they diagnose her with a hymen abnormality and abrasions, potentially due to SA. Then the story hits the news and the daycare is being investigated by the police and CPS jumps in and they start investigating them too. But of course, Mama is still mad. So she heads over to the daycare again and confronts Estrada again. On your f***ing watch, a two-year-old got here. She also goes live on Facebook and tells the world her story. My kid is two years old. And she shows the paperwork from the hospital showing the diagnosis. Now in that live, not only does she call the daycare out by name, but she specifically accuses Estrada of being the one who essayed baby, as he was allegedly the only male working there that day. And people are shocked and they're pissed off and this is a nightmare scenario. And they go and they find the daycare on Yelp and they review bomb it all to hell. And the next day a bunch of parents show up to the daycare and they stage a protest. We have to get her justice. Then and Mama, who still wants to draw attention to all this, she makes a ton of videos about it, a bunch of Facebook posts, she starts a Facebook group, she starts a GoFundMe for some reason, and the GoFundMe quickly raises over 10 grand, and people really start going after Estrada, allegedly sending him death threats and showing up to his house, and eventually, after all this pressure, the daycare shuts down. Justice appears to be served. Until about a week after all this goes public, people notice some minor inconsistencies in Mama's story, particularly this TikToker. Let's call her Ten. Now, Ten is a true crime enthusiast. Now, she starts investigating. My gut tells me this may not go the way that people want it to go. She talks to the detectives working on the case, gets copies of the search warrant, and calling the hospital to ask about the medical paperwork. And then Ten and a handful of other people on the internet start calling Mama out, saying she's lying about the whole thing. It's claimed that she has receipts. She's claimed that she has proof. And yet to this day has posted absolutely nothing. Now Mama doesn't like this. And she starts fighting with Ten in comments and in videos. And it becomes this whole messy drama. But slowly the tide starts to turn against Mama. And more and more people become skeptical of her story. Meanwhile, Mama sets up a second GoFundMe. Huh? While Ten, who's still heavily investigating, she, I guess, actually physically travels to the daycare. And shows that the place apparently has cameras everywhere. In all the rooms, in the kitchen. Even one pointed at the entrance of the restroom. Right above this door we're going through is a camera. Now, since the place is covered in cameras, there's CCTV footage of the entire day in question. And here's what that footage shows. Estrada helps check baby into her class in the morning. And allegedly after that, he didn't work with her or any of the kids for the rest of the day because he was off doing other administrative stuff. Now, we don't have all that daycare footage. All we have are these screenshots that I showed you. But you know who does have all that footage? Police. So police look at all the footage and all the evidence, and eventually, after a few months, they clear Estrada. He is no longer a suspect. Then police allegedly inform Mama of this. And even though she knows he's been cleared, she continues making posts publicly accusing him. Then CPS concludes their investigation of the daycare, and they post their report, and that report shows that zero violations were found. Then they officially send Estrada a letter saying he's cleared. And here is that letter. And by this point in the story, Mama is still accusing Estrada. But no one seems to be on her side. And I guess all the pressure and all the hate finally gets to her because one day, suddenly, she completely deletes her Facebook page and deletes all of her videos. While the daycare has since opened back up and they are back in business. Now, to be clear, we don't know if Baby was actually essayed. The doctors seem to think maybe so, but we do know that it wasn't Estrada or the daycare. And all this happened in El Paso, Texas, so shout out to Texas.